update here. I'm in the listening room of my shack and wanted to uh, share this video with you and let you know that it's about a 15 minute video. So if you don't have time to watch it now, maybe you can just sit down and watch it later. It's uh, I'm introducing the uh, Motorola VT73 that I received as a gift and I go through and, and demonstrate what um, I've done to uh, restore the set and I, I restored it electronically and then added a couple of things that were missing in the set. So I wanted you to see that whole video and then I also show a number of you have requested some information about the um, TV stations in your house kind of thing, how you can broadcast television in your home. And so I go into that just a little bit, not too technical, but I wanted to illustrate what that's all about. So I wanted you to see the uh, how that works and how I can get three different TV stations in the house and broadcast uh, um, and tune those to all the local channels that are available in the community. So that's what this video is about. I hope you enjoy it. And watch all the way to the end because I tagged something on the very end of the video and uh, of about a little discovery that we made when we were when I was restoring the set. And I'll explain that at the very end of the video. So thanks for taking the time to watch the video. I hope you enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. Um, I'm not doing any monetary thing with YouTube, but I do enjoy sharing these videos. And I really do appreciate the comments. Well, here I am in the uh, crow's nest. And I uh, wanted to share a video of a Christmas gift that I got from my wife, Denise the Motorola VT73. It's been quite a project. I've been working on it just about every day since Christmas. Uh, might come by and just stare at it with a cup of coffee in my hand and then shake my head and turn around and give it some more thought. But it's been quite a project and uh, finally got it um, going. My son has been a great help uh, as we work together on some of the schematics and trying to understand what's supposed to happen and what could be wrong. And then I also got online with a, a group at videokarma.org uh, and uh, they gave me some great ideas. There's some very smart guys out there have been working on these televisions a lot longer than I have. And they pointed me in the right direction and we finally got the problem resolved. So I've got a lot of test gear here, but you know, um, your test gear is only as good as the technician, so uh, it's been a real learning curve for me. I've been working on vintage electronics for, well, I've been working on electronics for 50 years. I know it's, uh, I built my first uh, science fair AM radio when I was 10 years old, so, and I'm 60, we'll be 61 here in another couple weeks or a few weeks, so. So it's been quite a journey, and uh, this Motorola television is uh, just an example, another example of some really great electronics out there that is of need of love and care. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and put the uh, VT73 up on the bench here, let you see it, and let you see some of the things that I've done with the 3D printer um, to make it an even more special uh, piece of equipment. So here's the set, and it's quite the box there. Pretty, pretty. There's the antenna input. I'm going to let you give you kind of an overview of what it looks like. Got vent holes here, and I believe these are the original rubber feet that came on the set. And the uh, original handle on top. Let's take a look at the back. The original back and the original cord. The original knobs. Everything looks original. These are 3D printed out of wood material. These are the feet. There used to be feet on here. I don't know whether the originals were rubber but they were almost completely gone. So I printed these out of a uh, 
um, a wood-like material. It feels like coconut shell, actually, and they work really well for the, the device to sit on the ground when it's in storage. So the set is in remarkable condition. And um, so let's uh, open it up and take a look. All right, there's the lid and the uh, front of the set. You can see it's in remarkable condition. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out is the leather, just a little bit of a tear. These are not original. These are, I made these for this set. This is the uh, remote antenna, and you can see here that that device, uh, that base is 3D printed and uses a uh, quarter inch phone jack in the base. Um, then I've got some 50 ohm coax that isn't perfectly matched to the 50 or to the 75 or 300 ohm input on the TV but I didn't uh, I decided to go with this thinner material because it looks nice and uh, it's it did not in, impact the performance of the TV too badly I don't believe so I made got the jacks and everything and, and that plugs into the top then the aerial or the antenna um, snaps in here and I found these pieces and parts from some of my stuff in the shack and 3d printed this little base here um, for the unit to accept a quarter inch phone jack so the antenna let's see the lid pops off right here and the antenna will plug into either the top of the television like that and then you can adjust it or if uh, you've got a poor signal where the TV sits you can take the antenna and plug it in to the top of the set um, and take the aerial over to the window or whatever the case may be take the base over there and just set it over somewhere we'll set it over here on the table and open up the ears a little bit so I've got the set turned on and we'll just let it kind of warm up here I don't know let's see I don't think I have anything I've got all of my uh, TV stations I've got three of them set up in here and they're all turned on but I don't know what they're turned into tuned into so we'll just see what we get in terms of uh, TV stations here and uh, we'll just see what what comes in there we go so what did you guys do this weekend you got a Civic too I think I turned the wrong knob. The Civic from Honda, a car that truly matches your style. I take it personally, I fight, and I fight hard. Some of these attorneys I've literally never seen in the courthouse even one time. I'm not an attorney on TV, I'm an attorney in the trenches. He's right, I'm job fiddling with the antenna here. And, uh, six, six, four, just like the old days. turn it off. So there we have the Brady Bunch on a Sunday afternoon. Um, I don't remember them playing on TV on Sunday afternoon. I think that was more of a Saturday night show. But in any case, you can see what a beautiful set it is. What a wonderful Christmas gift that's it's been. The, uh, the uh, plenty of brightness uh, in the tube. And uh, let's see if I can find another channel here. I think that was channel 13. I don't know what else I've got playing in here. Um, okay. Um, yeah. 
Roku. All right, well, let's see what we can find on Roku. Uh, well, let's do a little Netflix. And uh, what about Andy Griffith? Maybe that'll work. Um, my antenna. There we go. That's a little. That's a little better. I was going to say I'm, I'm not too impressed with the picture, but now it's a much better picture. Let's see if this helps get the glare. Probably a little bit. And we'll pick an episode. flags from YouTube so let's let we'll turn that off so a couple other things I wanted to show you in particular and I'm going to bring the camera up close to look here um, the uh, let's turn this around there we go there's a there was a foam like rubber foam like bezel that the picture tube slid into and was uh, protected around the interior of this case. And I'll put some pictures up to show you some of the 3D uh, printed bezels that I created and then lined and felt so that the tube is slid right up into its cradle, so to speak, and uh, is held in place right there. In, uh, and you can see the 3D printed material edge right there in the black. And you may even, I don't know if this video will show it or not, but you may be even be able to see some of the felt back in there that the tube slides right into. It took me quite a while to get that printed correctly, but the uh, it worked beautifully. So the 3D printing hobby really uh, has come in handy for these kinds of things the the base for example and the antenna aerial holder so that's just another example of blending the two hobbies but i thought you would get a kick out of the vt73 motorola 1949 television uh, this has been a great project and you can see what a beautiful condition this set is in and how much fun it would be to uh, to play with one. Part of the challenge that uh, collectors have is being able to actually play something on these sets. So I wanted to show you just a little bit of how this works in my shack anyway. Um, so let me take the camera off the tripod and I'll show you how I've got the antenna system set up in here to be able to broadcast television in this shack. Over here on the side of the bench I have two blonder tongue television uh, modulators and they are tuned to channel 12 and 8 and then I have a an HD or over-the-air television um, converter box here mounted to the wall. So there's an external antenna uh, up on the ceiling here that pulls in uh, the local channels and then it broadcasts through one of these units out into like channel 13 or channel 12 in this case. Then up here I have the Roku kind of stuck in, stuck in between my component shelf and the Roku is connected to another one of these, and it broadcasts the Roku signal out throughout the whole house, or th through the shack and pr prim primarily. Then here in my listening room, I've got more televisions and um, radios, uh, and you can see that the Philco Predicta is playing Gilligan's Island. And that is all coming in from 
all of this down here we've got the the transmitter the modulator and a, a tuner to tune in over the air channels and uh, so the that's what the uh, predictor is pulling in this uh, today also the Safari the Philco Safari you probably have seen one of my videos there the Philco Safari uh, is will pick up all of those channels and then there's a dumpster TV I did a video on the dumpster TV all of these sets are working the Philco 17er here is a Philco 17er here one back down here uh, all of these play all of these little battery powered televisions play and uh, I could probably fire them up they all play and um, depending on what they're connected to I'll turn on a couple of them here so we've got see we got Gilligan playing on this set and we got Barney and Andy playing on these sets and these others I won't bother turning them on so uh, so there you have it that's the the attraction for the black and white television get the antenna adjusted here we'll watch some Gilligan a bonus video at the end of the long 20 minute video uh, so thank you for watching all the way to the end I, I just had to show you this this is part of the VT 73 discovery that I made I mentioned in the uh, scrolling text that the bezel that the picture tube is centered in to hold it in its place against the face of the, the TV was made out of a soft rubbery foam type material that deteriorates over several years 50 years or 70 years it's at 70 years old and it turned into a goo it almost looked like that foam insulation that you spray and then it hardens well that's what this was it was as hard as a rock but it was just goo and it melted down around the tube and then down into the set and I saw a piece of what looked like paper embedded and completely coated completely coated by that goo so in removing taking the set apart and pulling the chassis out and separating the picture tube and all of that <clears throat> I was able to begin to work and cut and dig and scrape that goo out of the set and dissolve it we used all kinds of chemicals and come to find out warm water worked about as good as anything but in any case you live and learn so, but what we discovered was buried deep in that goo was this piece of cardboard and we didn't know what it was. I suspected it might have been a, <clears throat> a little tube chart to show you where the tubes were, but that's in the case, still in the case and glued to the side of the cabinet. So that wasn't it. So maybe we didn't know. So we worked for a couple of hours, maybe two or three hours to dissolve the goo and very carefully try to salvage this. So look here. It's a service and warranty card that was stapled to the inside of the TV. And so it's a, um, the company is radio, a village radio and electric company 21 VOSE Vos Avenue, South Orange, New Jersey. And the phone number is South Orange 26049. <laughs> so that tells you about the phone number. So I just thought you would find it. It was really a treasure to be able to find this 
and be able to, re to recover most of it. Some of it was damaged in trying to get the, the metal out of the, the TV set. But I was able to salvage this, so I've, I've put it in a little plastic envelope here, a bag, to protect it. And uh, it, I'll put this with the documentation for the TV that I've printed out. So I wanted you to see that as a part of the treasure of the Motorola VT73. Thanks again for watching.